What's going on guys, CubeSip in here. Since last 6 months, I have started clock and my average has never gone down below of 10 seconds. So finally, I have decided to learn the Samuel Samuel method by Tom Jerry and decrease hopefully to average of 6 and 7 seconds by 2 months. And that's who came here to the first episode on improving on speed cubing. And the first episode is about clock where I will be trying to learn the Samuel Samuel method by Tom Jerry. Let's go. So at first I have watched the video by Tom and Jerry on 7 simul and take some notes and now it's time to reframe on how to execute it on a solved clock. So now I will just uh, follow up the pattern from the black side on the dial calculation which dial goes to where. If you want to check out the videos then I will have the link to Tom and Jerry's video tutorial in the link in the description. And now I will just go over the pin order which is the same for both the sides that we have to recycle then x to flip then once again the same pattern. Now after learning the dial calculation and pin order of 7 simul I will now just try to do the first solves on by writing the calculation on a rough paper because it's initially it's hard to remember all the 6 digits with negatives and positives. So I will just uh, follow the rules by 7 simul and just note it down the numbers on paper. The note downing and calculation for dials was a little bit easy but uh, I already forgot the pin and dial order like which dial to execute which number so I have to reframe it all and unfortunately the first solve that I tried was a disastrous DNF. Now after messing around a bit more into the calculations now here I tried once more time to do it correctly the calculation part for tiles and hopefully this time I got it right by the end. Now after I was able to solve few more times during the practice sessions I was able to like get my hands on timer and doing some solves. For the few initial solves I was still writing it down because it was initially hard to memorize all those positive and negative numbers. So I decided to distinguish positive numbers as uh, 0 for O and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as A, B, C, D, E, F and negative numbers I replace it with just normal numbers like negative 1 for 1, negative 3 for 3, negative 2 for 2. So that way I was like able to memorize it correctly and also was able to do it in short form to remember for future solves which I will not be doing on paper. For the first initial solves, I also recorded my inspection time which turned out to be around 30 seconds which is far more than the 15 second inspection time but later on decided to just execute the solves. Now after that solve I just uh, practice a little bit more with uh, writing down on note paper and inspecting with uh, more time but uh, after that I was finally ready to just quit the pen and paper and just solve by memorization. For doing the memorization by mind it was really hard at initial but uh, after a few attempt I was just able to get hang of it.
so that was it for the episode one on improving on speed cubing on clock and by this end of the session i was able to get sub 20 average with the seven simul i was developing a lot and also missing the complete source by a few dial increment due to wrong calculation of the dials during inspection and talking and about inspection my currently time is about 20 seconds which so hopefully i will be able to get down to 10 to 12 seconds for wco completions so if you like to see more such videos on future about other wca events so be sure to comment them down below until then see you next time bye bye